In this video, we're going to be checking out the JSPB 1.6 Pro. G'day guys, and welcome back to the channel. But in this video, we're going to be checking out the JSPB 1.6 Pro. So, as usual, we'll just work from front to the back. We'll give it a bit of an overview. Uh, this isn't necessarily a review because I kind of had to custom build this thing. Not necessarily custom, but definitely ways that um, you wouldn't usually go about getting a JS PB blaster. As many of you probably know, you actually can't buy these things anymore. If you want to get one of these, you've actually got to buy a kit from JS PB, which is the hardware kit, which they supply all the PVC, all the O-ring seals, the springs, the screws, etc, etc. And what you have to do is 3D print everything. So. Everything that's 3D printed on this blaster didn't actually come from JSPB. I had to off-source them, and if you remember from my last video, thirdo.co, he actually printed this out for me, so big thanks to him. Good prints. Um, there's a couple things I have to go over if you wanted to print out one of these, and what I recommend you doing for your print. So to start off, the blaster is dated. The new JSPBs are absolutely crazy. I saw the new JSPB long scar on Facebook, and I was just blown away by it, and I've always wanted a JSPB, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money on the new one when I know I could get the old one for a bit cheaper, test it out for a little bit and then save up for the big one if I really liked it instead of dumping all the money on the brand new one when I could get the old one, test it out and if I do like it, I'll go for the big stuff. So overall, it does look pretty cool. It's not the coolest Jazz PB blaster, but it does look really nice. Up the front, this is what houses the SCAR. Jazz PB, I think, don't quote me, are the first people to really use the string scar technique. I'm not too sure who did it first, but I'm pretty sure they were the first to really try it. And back then it was called Zen rifling instead of the scar barrel. Trigger's nice, 3D printed, got this little well here for your finger not to come out and it's just the trigger. Releases the dart pretty well and fires. Coming back, this is where everything is. This is your RSCB tube and at the back here is your loading mechanism. If you've never seen a JSPB, this little flap at the end here seals the RSCB and then opens it at the end there. The RCB holds four full length darts or eight half length darts. And I'm running half lengths at the moment. Just an assortment of everything I'm through. Just went to my Stefan box and got a handful out just for this video. And in my opinion, Stefans are superior to half lengths in this thing. A, you can carry more Stefans in the blaster. Two, they're accurate and they go a lot further as well. Moving down to the grip, uh, it's very angular, very square, and is a little bit uncomfortable for my hands personally. If you've got bigger hands, you may not find this too comfortable, so if you know someone that's got one, hold it first before you may go out and want to build one of these things. Coming back now to here, this is the air tank from here all the way down to here. So, pretty big air tank, which is quite nice. And the air tank holds three pumps. At the bottom here is the pump. If you see me pumping it, that's how far the pump is. And one, two, three. So it's not a dual action, it's a single action when you come back. The pump has dual O-rings on the actual pump head and at the back here where it seals. So it's a very airtight seal. Uh, so it's definitely not gonna leak on you. Traditionally, you have to flick down the RCB to reload the next dart. This is what you have to do with the 1.6 Pro. Now the new ones have a little hose that come from the bottom and they have a dual pump down the bottom, which actually forces the darts forward, which is really nice. So this is definitely an outdated version, but I honestly don't mind because when I pump, I will pump down like this and that's already done my RCB flick. So that's kind of taken care of when I flick down and start to pump because I'll use both my arms to pump instead of just using one up here like this. So it kind of really takes care of itself and it's not a massive issue for me, but if that is for you, maybe look at a newer model. Now, JSPB recommend two to three pumps, but I've found that you can definitely go to four, you can go higher than four, you can go as high as you want, there's no OPV in this thing. So you can go as high as you want, but you do risk blowing up your blaster and damaging your blaster. So they recommend us that three, and three is pretty solid performance. It's nothing to um, definitely write off. It's very solid performance at three. As you can see, that's three and a half now, and that's solid performance. Pretty good. The blast is very comfortable. It's kind of this bullpup-esque style, very easy, nice to choke up onto. It's got a nice little red dot on the top because this is very accurate. The SCAR uses a six string SCAR. You can do four. 
four, but six string is much superior, I've found. I've only stuck to using four because I was making my own rather than off sourcing scars. But in this, I did try the six strings and they are great. It is awesome the performance and the accuracy you can get out of six strings. That's pretty much it for the blaster. At the back, I've got this cool little nameplate that Thurder printed out for me. My last thing to watch out for would be this here on the trigger well. As you can see, this little like a bar or something like that to cover the trigger actually snapped on this side. They're very delicate, so I would say for you to print at a high density so these things don't fall off. They're quite delicate and in 3D printing form, something to definitely watch out for. Nothing too big on my end because I can just work around it. Everything still works, so I'm not too fussed about it. It's all good. That's pretty much it for the blaster itself. So now let's take you outside and show you firing. There we go guys, this is just a bit of a wrap up and overview of my new JSPB 1.6 Pro Blaster. Something I forgot to mention was how you can pretty much use any dart type in this. Accu fakes, Accu strikes, FVJs, worker Stephens, Stephens, any dart you could possibly think of this thing will pretty much fire at all. So whatever you throw in there, it's gonna fire, which is great. So that's a really big plus, so you can just pick up anything off the ground, load it in and go. That's definitely what this blaster is, a very run and gun. Slam whatever ammo you've got in there, run around, pick up off the field, definitely a very lightweight loadout, which is nice. So guys, thank you all so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. If you wanna catch up with me when I'm not making videos, check out my Facebook, Instagram and Discord server in the description, and I'll see you in the next one.